Following opera in petrol stations across the country, Nigerians have continued to lament the troubles encountered in getting clean petrol. But if it's any consolation, our correspondent went round some filling stations in Lagos and gathered that long queues have reduced in the city. Jacinta Obuku has more. Millions of Nigerians were this week thrown into chaos amid scarcity of fuel across the country. There were long queues at many filling stations in some major cities across the country. Many motorists opted for black market sellers to fuel their vehicles. In quest for an update, we went to one of the NMPC stations in Lagos at Alfred Ruan Road. We discovered that the queue for fuel had reduced compared to previous days. An official off the camera told us that normalcy had returned. Some of the buyers believe the queue reduced because it's weekend as many people are at home. It's improving now for about two days now. I think it's better. I'm coming from Idumota area now and the queue is here but not much. But here it's much better in Ikoyi here. For now, things are improving. Um, please, um, we can see fuel buy, but the most important thing is to be sure what we are buying and putting inside our vehicle. You know, so the should, government should do something so that we won't be having, having all these uh, challenges and facing difficulties. We want to buy fuel. It's a huge embarrassment that um, we are still having queues after, I mean, donkey years of democracy, democratic practice in Nigeria. Uh, you, as you can see, I mean, we are still on queue. We're queuing for fear. You queue for everything almost in this country. We hope that things will have been normalized, but up till now, we still have some filling stations that are not selling, probably holding their fuel or something. We are not supposed to be going through all of this. So. We hope things get better so soon. They should work on it so we won't be suffering to get food in our own country. You know, it's very, very bad. While on patrol, we also discovered that some filling stations were not opened at all, like this one. Amid the uncertainty over the way forward and the crisis trailing the importation of adulterated petrol, the federal government has raised a technical panel to manage the situation and ensure the situation returns to normalcy. Jacinta Obioku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.